Hello everyone, my name is Darren Orange and I'm here with another quick uh, 4K Blu-ray review for you guys. I got Midway here, I've been wanting to see Midway for a while now, but the right sale and the right price didn't come out until recently. This came out, uh, I believe it was last year, and it was a pretty decent success being the largest independently funded feature length film at $100 million of all time. It was Emmerich's passion project, you would know him from having made Independence Day as well as the fantastic Godzilla. I will definitely be getting that into the future. On this channel, to remind you, basically I cover all things tech, usually involving home theater or electric EV cars, and things that I like technology-wise I'll probably cover, including cameras, etc. I'm a filmmaker, so I get to give you some cool advice and some unique insight into films, and I really like the 4K standards. So let's check this out. So we watched this movie last night, completed it. Uh, the movie itself was actually a lot of fun. The whole story, there's actually a lot more than Midway. It's kind of deceiving. It tells you all the way from practically slightly before Pearl Harbor all the way through the end of Midway. Um, and I think that that's kind of an interesting thing. It, it, it's deceiving. This movie is full of action. Great character actors, as you can see here above. It's actually an impressive ensemble. And I think it's one of the things that make this film a lot of fun and something you could actually rewatch, shockingly. Now, the only knocks against it story-wise I would give it is the fact that, honestly, it's a little all over the place, but the performances are so good you can follow what's going on, so it's not that bad, and it compresses a lot of time into, I mean, a relatively short film. It's only a little over two hours, I think two hours and 20 minutes in length. But regardless, some people have talked about its accuracy and whatnot. It's probably close enough to be, you know, a Hollywoodized version of something. Certainly more accurate than Independence Day. Um, but basically, I liked the movie. It was good. So the visual pictures into the whole thing, the visual elements, this is 4K uh, HDR Blu-ray, right? So more or less, the imagery was pretty decent. It wasn't that fantastic. Most of the visual effects were okay. They were actually, they should be amazing in theory, but it's just so obvious, painfully, that some scenes are CGI. You just can't get away from that. It's really well done. And keep in mind, when you watch this film, you'll be shocked by the amount of CGI that's in it for a $100 million film. It just is mind-boggling how complicated this film had to be to make. So visually, it's a little blown out in some parts, and that kind of hurts it. But some scenes that are have no CGI look really good. The ones that have CGI look worse. They're obviously trying to cover up some stuff. And ironically, most of the scenes with ships and stuff tend to look the best at night. I don't think that's like intentional to make these mistakes because the water honestly looks fantastic. It just seems like the ships are a little too perfect. A good example early on in the film, one of the, the Mustangs are flying and you can tell very clearly that you're at, at its eye level, like only 20 or 30 feet from it and you're looking down on an aircraft carrier, but everything is very in focus and there should be some softness if not from you know depth of field, they should be from atmospheric distortion, and that's just kind of missing. I think that's the one element of the CGI in this. It's missing that atmospheric feel, so things feel too clear when you know there should be some distortion from a distance. It just doesn't. It doesn't feel quite right. Now, as far as sound goes in this, it definitely lived up to its 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 recommendation, saying that this is one of the best Atmos tracks out there for demo and watch purposes. Super well balanced, very punchy, very, very loud in the bass in some parts, but it still gave you that intensity. It never overdid it in the most intense scenes. So if you're watching, coming from a film that granted this is like a war-like movie, like uh, Dunkirk, Dunkirk has a lot of just overpowering bass and overpowering sound here and there. This is really well done and really concise to where a lot of the impacts and the sounds really are good. The Atmos is used. Again, this is Atmos track, so the Atmos is used fantastically. It's it's done well. The the overhead from planes flying over your head, explosions from bottom and below, all the, the rounds being shot, all sound absolutely amazing. I really like this movie from the, the sound aspect. I enjoyed it. So overall, as far as the film goes, this is one you should definitely watch. It's not going to bore you. Certainly not. You might get annoyed by some things here and there, but generally speaking, this is a fun time, and I highly recommend it. Go check it out, especially in 4K. So let's get into the unboxing of the disc. So you got this slider here. Uh, this is the Steelbook from Best Buy. I was able to pick this up for 10 bucks from Best Buy. And what I thought was particularly neat about the slider 
it actually adds to the shot. So you can see how it's all this, this artwork here, but in here when it slides in, there's actually a little bit of, of frosting in the actual cover to make this feel more cloud-like. So this cover actually adds to the overall Steelbook, and I think that's pretty neat. Now the Steelbook's artwork, again, looks really good. It, it is really good, and it gives you this nice, clean, consistent look. So when you open it up, you literally get the full shot and the full view of everything. I think this is a really neat way to do this and tell the story. I would I'd say anyone's collection, if they like this movie that much, should get it. I only bought it because it was 10 bucks on sale. I normally don't buy steel books, but I have a couple, so I'll probably doing, be doing some more steel book reviews for you guys. So inside the case, what do you get? You get your digital copy, which I'll put that over there. I should have removed that already. But you have here, you've got your Midway, you got your UHD 4K Blu-ray, and then you have your regular Blu-ray, and then behind the discs, you get this, again, this fantastic artwork that's back here, and really enjoyable. Again, the, the whole viewpoint flying in, it's, it's telling a story. So you're seeing the viewpoint that's in the film, not ruining too much by showing you this or telling you this, but this is the viewpoint flying in that they had. They did this a couple times in the movie, it's extremely intense, great sound, great visuals here. And this is like the scene as they're leaving that kind of view. So the, the, the steelbook itself tells a story, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, so overall, if you're really a big fan of the film, if you like it that much, I'd recommend go ahead and grabbing the steelbook. You can get one, get it for like 10 bucks. I would highly recommend it. Uh, I think it's a fun movie. Go check it out. Midway, uh, it's going to be a good time for you. Again, so I do mostly videos on EV cars, home theater, and movies. I'm a filmmaker as well, so continue to watch here. I'm going to be doing some more reviews. I had a couple more steel books and a few other movies I'd like to talk about. But in particular, I have a special edition of Dawn of the Dead that I'm going to be doing an opening of and review of. And I think you guys will really enjoy that. The 4K remaster special edition giant box set. I'll probably be putting that within the next couple of days. Stay tuned. If you like the material, like and subscribe. I'm going to change up the, the format versus this for Dawn of the Dead. I don't think it's appropriate for that. You'll be able to see me, not just the steelbook or the material. And then we'll go from there. But please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the future. Thanks.